Hi, I'm Terry Brock, and welcome to this issue of Achievement Update from just outside London, England. I'm here at a beautiful place called Warren House, an executive retreat center where I spoke, and uh, I'm getting a chance to send you some information on YouTube and marketing. You've heard about social networking and the things that are going on with that. Well, this is a great way to build your relationship marketing, and YouTube is an example of how to do it. YouTube, of course, we all know about as the video way that you can send out information, you can communicate with people and stay in touch with them. It's a marvelous way to provide information and to test it. If you've got an idea, now you can test it as never before. If you think that the way to reach people is by sending a bunch of stuff to them and pushing it out to them through television, you belong with black and white TV in the 1950s. Please, oh, how 20th century, how mid 20th century. Instead, what you want to do is you want to be able to have a pull strategy so that people listen to you and they provide comments themselves. This is the way that social networking works and it's the way that things work today. And here are a few ideas that you can use. I've been using YouTube for marketing and for getting information out and to build relationship marketing for quite a while now. And I want to share a couple of ideas that can help you. As the wind is blowing here pretty fiercely in uh, England, they've had some rough time. But some ways that you can market. Number one, provide really good content that's relevant to your target market. You can do all the magic you want with search engine marketing and keywords and doing this and doing that. And there's lots of people that have sold a lot of stuff on that, but I think the key is, and Google would back me up on this, it's providing relevant content to a specific target market. Provide something that's really good, really meaningful, and please don't give us just another book report that you've read because you read something from Tony Robbins, Stephen Covey, Tom Peters, or other really good authors, and then you just regurgitate that. Do something unique, something that's going to be different that'll be highly relevant and very pertinent to the target market. Another thing you want to do is make sure that it's fun and funny at times. Where appropriate, use humor. Don't try to uh, become a comedian if you're not. But where it's appropriate, use humor. And that will be very good. People like to come back and see something that's going to make them laugh. And if you can give them good content and make it fun and funny and there's laughter involved, that'll be even good. And then number three use really good production quality. That production quality means you want to make sure that it looks good. It doesn't have to be professional in the sense of Steven Spielberg is going to be scared because you've done a video, but you need to have something that looks professional, something that uh, will really work. One of the keys on that will be to have an external microphone. Make sure that you're using not the internal microphone that's built into the camcorder. You want to use one that gives you the ability to have a sound that is really nice. By the way, another Another thing that has helped a lot is a tripod. Where possible, use a tripod and that will make a big difference in the quality of your video. Another point is you want to use target keywords. Now this is going to help in using the search engines so they will find that and YouTube looking for those particular things. But they've got to be relevant. For instance, you can't just talk about uh, your cat sleeping and then put in there relationship marketing is good for you and expect it to work. No, it's got to be relevant. It's got to be directly related to what they're talking about. So make sure that what you do uses those target keywords and it's something that you'll be able to work with to attract more people on a consistent basis. And finally, number five, make sure you check the comments. People can put comments into a video, and that's really, really helpful. You want to make sure that you see what people are saying. And don't worry about just some hack that's going to put in an anonymous comment. I find that when somebody is not revealing who they are and they're trying to hide behind anonymity of the web, it decreases the value of what they have. But when they've got something that's relevant, something that's good for you to know about, pro or con, then that's something that you'll want to pay attention to and find out what they have to say. Oh, and here's a bonus tip real quick for you. You want to make sure that you combine your video in a blog. That way people get a chance to read the comments as well as see them. When you can combine those two methods, it's like you've got newspaper and television working for you. So you put it into a blog, that gives you the ability to have the text so you can go more in depth, more explanatory uh, ideas of what's happening, and then you use video, and that video gives you the ability to have the motion, the sound, the emotions of it, all of those things, colors, visuals, all the interaction. By using that, you're going to be able to have a lot of information that will be very good for generating sales. I know it's helped me a lot, and I think you'll find that there's a lot of benefit that you'll have with it as well. Hey, if you'd like to uh, send me a comment or find out more about the coaching program that I have where we talk about and use these kinds of things, drop me a note. Terry at terrybrock.com. 
terry at terrybrock.com, and you'll be able to get some information and communicate with me directly about that. So have yourself a wonderful day, and I send you greetings from here near London, England, on a brisk and chilly day here in this wonderful era.